to adjust or shall we say increase the solubility of a substance, what most people do is they heat it up. But we really should ask ourselves before we do that, are there gases present? Gases become more soluble in a solvent as the temperature goes down. Most solids and liquids can be heated, but they cannot be pressurized if you have a hot solid or liquid in another liquid solution. Therefore, we find that, well, as you add salts to water, most of them do increase in solubility as they are heated up, but not always. Check out cerium sulfate here. Therefore, we can say that solubility usually, but not always, increases with temperature, and it's definitely the go-to method for most people to attempt to increase the solubility of something. Now, if you do have a gas present, you're in the position to pressurize that gas headspace over the liquid. If you do that, you will, should see that it increases in solubility. You should also see that as you heat that gas, it tends to precipitate out. This should not be too surprising since carbon dioxide in water will go flat if you give it heat, time to heat up. Therefore, the solubility of gases in liquid decreases with temperature. This also means that the oxygen-rich components of the ocean can oftentimes be in some of the coldest climates. Similarly, if we pressurize a gas, we will always increase its solubility regardless of the gas. So we can say that the solubility of gases in liquids is always proportional to the pressure of the gas above the liquid, and therefore the partial pressure also within the liquid. You'll get more in as you pressurize it. I don't know how often that'll be your go-to method, because it's not a convenient thing to do, but I suppose it's good to know. Since we have a proportional effect, this uh, comes out as S1 over P1 equals S2 over P2 for your initial and your final gases. And if the solubility of air in water is 1 gram per liter at 1 atmosphere, it will double when we go to 2 atmospheres, to 2 grams per liter. That doesn't show up, but you should have a 2 right there. And if the solubility is 3.45 grams per liter, that's our S1 at 5.6 atmospheres, that's our P1 at 1 atmosphere, it should be 6 times roughly less, and therefore the solubility goes down to 0.61 grams per liter.